Welcome to Relaxed Park. As always, we have prepared something special for you. Find some popcorns and watch carefully. In today's video, we are going to talk about Assassination Classroom. Before we proceed with the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification icon so you won't miss any video. The Earth is threatened by a powerful creature that destroys 70% of the moon with its power, giving it the permanent shape of the moon. The creature says that with any year, the Earth will be destroyed by him, but he is giving mankind a chance to avoid this problem. In Class 3E at Kumnugiaka Junior High School, he begins working as a homeroom teacher, where he teaches his students not only ordinary subjects but also murder techniques. The Japanese government promises a prize of 10 billion yens, e.g. $100 million, to any of the students who successfully kill their teacher, whom they call Koro-sensei. However, this has proven to be an almost impossible task, as it has many impersonal skills including the mobility of Mark 20. Assassination Classroom is a 2015 Japanese science fiction action comedy movie. The movie is directed by Ai Kairo Hasumi, it is based on a manga series of the same name created by Yusei Matsui. The movie was released in Japan on March 21, 2015. The title of the film makes it sound like a sad and perhaps crippling wannabe thriller, but in reality, Assassination Classroom is an amazing and heartfelt story. It starts out funny and simple. The mysterious creature spends 70% of the month. The creature then warns that if he is not destroyed in March next year, the Earth will follow. The creature also wants to be a grade E homeroom teacher at Kumnugiaka Junior High School. The government has no potential to say no. The creature becomes a grade E homeroom teacher in a class. This class consists of students who fail including Nani Sushiota, Ryasu Kumada. The creature is called Teacher Koro. Meanwhile, the government is urging students to try to kill Teacher Koro despite his overwhelming power. The government gives a reward of 10 billion yen to anyone who kills him successfully. The students are puzzled by the situation, but they decide to kill Teacher Koro. When their class started with Teacher Koro, the students found themselves having fun with their new teacher. An unknown tent monster destroyed half of the moon. Soldiers cannot kill this beast. There seems to be no danger to this beast because it shows incredible speed. The beast wants to do the same thing on Earth that he did on the moon but he agrees to take part in the game. If the three E-class students were able to kill it in their last year of school, the planet would be saved. The beast, called the students Koro-sensei, wants to be a class teacher and promises never to harm one of the students, who are also not allowed to do their best to kill their teacher. Class 3 E is a school lamp, but Koro-sensei proves to be a talented teacher. Still, students are eager for the 10 billion rewards for the beast's death. Unusual battle karma, Misaki Suda, seems to have a very good chance of success. However, Nanisa, Ryasuke Yamada, is approaching the issue with his head and over time, she seems to have some of the best cards in the game. Under the direction of Tadeami Karasuma, Kipeshina, the troops sent additional transfer students, but all were trained to kill Koro-sensei. When it comes to a ridiculous story like the assassination classroom, you can expect a ridiculous act that doesn't do justice to its original manga pages or a well-respected original adaptation that lacks just a few essential elements. Fortunately, the latter is the case here. When you think about what this building is all about, a huge invincible beast that asked you be a teacher, this is a miracle. The movie is always entertaining to people everywhere, but you will wonder if a flick actually can bring more than what its original plan says. And it is not to be expected otherwise the conversion of the manga is disappointing at this. The story remains shallow, and the characters would benefit from a lot of interpretation, too. The Assassination Classroom is missing out on the full use of its power, and this will soon be seen in its characters. Instead of a few lights on them, there are many more characters introduced, all of which seem very promising, but they don't get much time on screen. Therefore, Almost all of their personalities are not anything to write home about. This includes Nanny says well. He has to be a born killer, even if you don't think this at first. The only problem is that we are not sure about this even when we see it a second time. 
Otherwise, he analyzes his potential victims, not highlighting his special abilities. It is the same when it comes to Karma or the whole group. Korra Sensei would have deserved more depth, though he had found the character's best description. It doesn't help at all that the characters mostly consist of little actors and J-pop images. Achievements are not out of place and can actually be called constructively strong, but naturally, people do not find them that way. An act of extreme self-sacrifice is not enough to help the assassination classroom surpass its absurd structure, especially since the action is not that top top after all and it is not found common in the film, as you might think. There is also the lack of design expected when you have to kill an invincible creature. There are quite a few attempts, but they are certainly not real. This is somewhat dangerous because this is where the movie has to deliver something unusual. Sometimes we get some background information, at least that's what it looks like. But whenever our interest is raised, the story comes from a big rope. As such, we are soon aware that Flick retains most of its content in sequence, and this leaves an unpleasant taste in your mouth. Naturally, the movie is also lively, and the students' reluctance to kill their teacher, since they first fell in love with him, is seen miles away. The problem with this, too, is that the teacher lacks the real ambiguity in his personality. At first, it may seem like he is going to turn the whole army into cold blood, but over time, we see the teacher's side and we can't think of anything different than his promise to destroy the world by just a bad joke. What should be noted are the special effects, however, that convey obvious jokes in the real world and therefore push the element of even more stupidity on the border. Acting wisely could not have done much in the movie, although there was also Kipe Shina, Shinobi, Heart Under Blade, Outrage, at least in an attempt to bring together the critical characters in the film. As already mentioned, the assassination classroom fails concerning its subject and especially its characters, which is always a very shallow way for us to care. However, this conversion of manga is still a fun journey. It would have been nice if there had been more activity and goods, perhaps even a small inspiring drama around Koro Sensei. As things stand, you get the impression that you have to wait for the second installment of this. So, we've come to the end of today's video. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. Till next time.